Hi, I am Sal Sabil Zarin Sabha. I am in grade 3. The name of my school is Kuti Sruti Kindergarten. Now I am read a passage from my test book. The passage name is The Crow. It is summer. Mother crow and her young crows are leaving a nest. The nest is above a corn field. Every morning, mother crow, crow flies away to get corn. She leaves the young crows. One, one morning, the farmer comes to check his corn. He does not see the nest. Mother crow is not in the nest. But the young crows see the farmer. They are afraid. In the afternoon, mother crow comes back. The young crows say, It is time to leave the nest, mother. Mother crows say, No, it's not time yet. The next morning, the young crows see the farmer again. There is Another man with him. The man sees the nest. Mother crow comes back. The young crow say to, to their mother, It's too time to leave now. Mother crow say, No, it's not time yet. The next morning, the young crow see the farmer and the man again. The man has a stick. Mother crow comes back. She sees the farmer and the man with a stick. The young crow say, It is time to leave the nest now, mother. Yes, mother crow says, Now it's time. Have you finished? Okay, thank you. My name is Habasum Khandaga Farina. I am in grade 4. The name of my school is Pradishtrati Kindergarten. I am going to read it. I am going to read a passage from my book, Google textbook. The passage name is The Lion and the Mouse. One day, a lion was sleeping in the forest. The lion was big and strong. All the animals afraid the lion, apart from one mouse. The mouse was playing near the lion. She ran into the lion's nose and he woke up. He was angry. The lion, the lion lifted the mouse to his mouth and said, I am going to eat you. The mouse said, Please, Mr. Lion, let me go. I am your friend. One day I will help you. The lion laughed, You, you are very small. How can you help me? But he led the mouse to go. One, one month later, the lion was walking in the forest. A net cast him. The lion was in a trap. He rotated and rotated, but no one came. The lion was afraid. The night, that night, the lion was still in the net. His legs hurt. His head hurt. He was very tired. Suddenly, he heard Someone says, friend, I am here. I will help you. The lion looked down and saw the mouse. You, how can you help me? I asked the lion. I am in this tree. I can't move. What can you do? The mouse used her teeth to cut the net. She was small, but her teeth was very sharp. Soon the lion was, was free. The lion was very happy. He said, Thank you, Miss Mouse. You are my friend and I am your friend. You, you will come. You will come, Mr. Lion, said the mouse. Friends come in Wall Street. Okay, thank you very much. Hi, my name is Noisir Islam Kashid. I am in grade 4. My school's name is Bangladesh Railway Government High School, Kawat Khali Maiman Singh. Uh, um, now I go to... Um, now I am going to read. Now I am going to read uh, a passage, uh, a passage uh, from oh. my textbook. The passage name is A Garment Worker's Day. 
Reshma is a garment worker in Dhaka. She is 18 years old. Her family came to Dhaka from a village eight years ago. There was a revolution in their village. They lost their home. Uh, so they uh, so the family came to Dhaka. Reshma's uh, father uh, wa um, worked as a rickshaw driver, but he died in an accident. Reshma's uncle Ratan helped the family. He, um, he found a small house from them for them uh, at Kolhapur. Um, he took Reshma to a garment factory in Mirpur. Uh, she uh, works there now. Uh, her younger brother Babul goes to school. Um, he's, uh, he is um, in class 5. Her mother teaches Nokshikata at home and sells them. The garment factory is 2 kilometers from Rishma's house. In the morning, uh, she uh, walks to work. She, um, uh, some of uh, her friends go by bus, rickshaw or scooter. Um, she works from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Reshma likes to visit and go to the uh, cinema, but the uh, but she does not have much free time or money for this. And she often works uh, extra hours until 6 p.m. sometime so, uh, so that she can make more money. Uh, her family needs. The, this money for food and other things. Okay, thank you very much. Your voice is so much uh, nice and beautiful. Okay. Hi, my name is Nusrat Jahan. I am in grade 4. The name of my school is Vidamoy Government Girls High School. Today I am read a page right. for, from my textbook. The page's name is My Trip. My name is Albi. I live in Dhaka, but my family is from Chilmari in Uigra. My grandmother and my and many of my relatives still live there. Last June, I went to visit my grandmother, my uncle and cousins in Chilmari. Their house is near the Jamuna River. My uncle is a fisherman. My grandfather was a fisherman, but he died in uh, died about 10 years ago. I didn't know him. When my sister and I visited Tilmari in June, we had so much fun. Our grandmother told us stories about our family and about the history of Bangladesh. My uncle caught a lot of fish. My favorite fish is tapila. It's a thin white fish. It's delicious. We helped our grandmother make the fish every night. We also made rice and vegetables. It was a very special trip. We talked with our relatives and learned about our family and our country. We also sang songs together. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. My name is Saim Saif Khan, but call me Saim. I am in grade 5. I, I, re, I read in class Saim. My name is Saif Saif Khan, but call me Saim. I am in grade 5. My school name is uh, my school name is Progressive Narsai School. Uh, today I am going to read a passage from my textbook. Uh, the the uh, passage name is Cyclone Island. Babul and his family live in a uh, live on the island of Dublar uh, Chor. Life is good for the family now, but that uh, but that wasn't true. Uh, after Cyclone Isla, um, Babu doesn't remember Cyclone Isla, uh, but his parents often often uh, talk about that uh, that uh, terrible night in 2009. Babu's father had a grocery shop in his mother worked in a fish farm. They had a small house uh, that uh, they shared with Babu's grandparents. Grandparents, uh, Babu was just a baby 
um, about his sister Nikbao was six years old. Babu's father told him what, what happened um, that day. That day, um, there was a light rain in the morning uh, on 25 May. In the mor in the afternoon, the we the wind starts uh, to blow and people begin to run for their homes. Babu's father closed his uh, shop and his mother came to home. His grandparents uh, his grandparents uh, checked the family's emergency kit. Uh, their torch uh, was working and the extra batteries had extra batteries. Um, they put uh, the torch uh, batteries and uh, fire uh, and kit in plastic box by the uh, by the evening the river was rising the winds of cyclone isla shocked the um, walls uh, of the house um, else if there was a earthquake uh, earthquake uh, everyone else afraid nipa began to cry suddenly there was an awful noise and the, the families who blew away on uh, the sky was dark but the trees um, but the family could see trees flying over um, their heads over their heads um, grandmother uh, still says uh, show see a uh, soul fish uh, flying through the sky. The next day was awful. Um, Babu's family couldn't uh, stop crying. Uh, Nipa and grandmother was missing. Were missing. Babu's father went out. Went out to look uh, for them. For them, uh, he found Nipa in a field. Uh, she saw holding onto the tree, uh, and she saw covered uh, the on, on man in mud. Uh, in mud, uh, she could she could not remember anything. Uh, she took Nipa at home and began looking for his father. For his father, uh, he looked in the fields. Uh, but uh, buildings and the and the trees. Many people in Bangladesh were missing after cyclone Ida, and Babu's grandfather was one of them. Uh, the family never found him. After cyclone Ida, people worked together. Nepal school became a shelter uh, for the. For the servers, um, Babu and his family went to live in the school. The government of Bangladesh and wards from NGOs come came to help, but uh, things were very hard. There wasn't enough safe drink, water, or food. Uh, so many people became ill. Became ill in. In time, people repaired, uh, repaired uh, their homes and uh, repa uh, rebuilt their villages and uh, bricks. Um, they they plants plant new trees and new crops in the in their fields. Babu feels happy when he looks at the trees and his sister Nipa, but he feels sad about his grandfather. His grandmother says, "Don't be sad, uh, don't be sad, Babu. Grandfather uh, wanted want uh, us to live for the future." Thank okay, you. thank you very much. Hi, my name is Jumaira Tasnim. I am in grade 6. Now I am going to read, read a passage from my textbook. The passage name is A Day in the Life of Mina. It was a gloomy and rainy day. On the way to go school, Mina found that the road was muddy and slippery. She saw a tall old man. He was walking on the road. Suddenly he fell and Mina ran to get him up. The old man thanked her and said, How helpful, how helpful you are, my girl. 
Then she started walking and saw a red dog. The dog was big and frightening. A little boy was scared to see the dog, but Mina was fearless. She helped the boy to go past the dog. The boy thanked by her saying, You are so kind, sister. Then she saw one of, one of her classmates going to school. She was wet because of drizzling. Mina gave her a handkerchief to wipe his head. Then she took her classmate under her umbrella and left for school. Her classmate thanked her and said, You are always friendly, Mina. After that, they quickly arrived at school. The guard looked at Mina and said, you, you came on time even on a rainy day. You are punctual, my dear. Mina did her homework as she always does. In her class, she listened to the teacher and participated in the discussion. The teacher was very pleased with her and told her, You are very attentive and I appreciate you. She usually plays after the school. As the day was rainy, the field was sloppy, so unfortunately, she couldn't play on that day. Hence, she was a bit upset. After returning home, she shared everything about the whole day with her mother. Her relationship with her mother was very cordial and friendly. That's all. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Brilliant. Hi, I'm Tosif Fondagar Sami. I'm a student of grade 7. I read in my missing Zila school. So today I'm going to read a passage from my textbook. The passage name is Chocolate. Earlier, chocolate was so precious that it was used as money. Now, we use chocolate every day and on special occasions such as birthdays, mother's days and friendship days. Chocolate comes from cocoa tree which grows near the equator. After four years, the trees start to produce pods. Farmers open the pots and take out the seeds. Vanilla, sugar, cinnamon and other spices are added to the ground up seeds. The origin of chocolate is interest, interesting. As early as 2000 years ago, people of the Americas were mixing cacao beans, water and spices to make a drink. In 1502, Christopher Columbus brought cacao beans back to Spain. People later learned to how to change chocolate from liquid to solid. And by 1847, they were enjoying chocolate candy bars. That's it. Okay, thank you very much. Hi, dear friends. My name is Ifar M.D. Movinur, but call me Irfan. I am a student. I am grade 7. I am 14 years old. My name of my school is Chingila School. Today, now it is book. And now I am going to read a passage. The passage name is <laughs> Heroes of uh, Bengal. Badal Court is still remember the day. It was on Sunday in September of 1931. How old was he at the time? Probably 14 or 15 years old. Badal with 12 freedom fighters marched to enter Dhaka city. He was young, but he, but he dared, dared to fight against the Pakistani army. It was very early in the morning when the city was sleeping in fear and worry. But, but the worry. But the freedom, freedom fighters did not have sleeping and attacked an army of a watch station at Jatrabari. They first destroyed a truck in front of the station. Seeing this, the army came with a deadly response. But due to the sudden attack, the Pakistan. Army could not continue uh, fighting. They had only two options left for them. One was or uh, two uh, surrender uh, before the freedom fighters or die. They uh, eventually got shot and died. Uh, and the freedom fighters destroyed uh, the station at the price of power uh, for uh, freedom fighters. Among uh, the freedom fighters, there was also Badol, uh, Badol, uh, Badol Elder's brother. When he thought uh, of the in, uh, incident, his yes filled, uh, filled with tears. But he consoled uh, himself that because of, the, uh, of his brother's sacrifice as oil or other market freedom fighters we got our independence 
they are the real heroes of heroes. Bengal. Heroes of Bengal. Okay, thank you. Hello, I am Nambachana Tlanga. I am in grade 8. The name of my school is Union Progressive School Manage. Today I am reading passages from my textbook. The passage was paper was advanced our life. Communication of ideas is at the center of civilization. It needs writing records. Most of our records in the modern age are on paper. Thought writing was invented very early. Paper was a more modern invention. For long in history, people exchanged ideas through speaking and listening. Then there come the art of writing. But to record thought in writing was difficult. Writing materials were not available. People used the surface of stone, metal, wood, bark, leaves, etc. for writing. Those things were not easy to carry. Then for ages, people looked for easy writing materials. Finally, paper was invented in China in 105 AD. Before the paper is, knowledge was very restricted. Can you think of that time? There were very few books in the world. Maybe there were written on stone or on heavy wood planks or on metal sheets. Suppose one piece of one piece was heavy stone block. So think of the hundred page book. In our age, you can carry the entire world of knowledge in the digital form in your laptop bag. You can even carry a huge volume of papers and encyclopedia. But who could produce and carry ton of heavy stone book and document in those paperless days? In fact, paper was made publication and the spirit of knowledge and information easy. So you can see how paper was exchanged our life. Okay, thank you very much.